A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add Bates number in PDF document. And for that one, we will be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So first thing first, what is the Bates number? And uh, primarily it is used in the legal world. But the most important part is that it gives a certain identification number to each and every pages of the PDF. So it will add a, some kind of number in the PDF, either as a header or footer. You can put it on the center, left, right, anywhere as per preference. So the option is here. And if you don't see this option, what you can do, you can go to the Tools tab and press Edit PDF. And you will see the option has came once again here. And I'm going to use this page numbering and I'm going to use Add. Then you will see the dialog box has appeared here and is the same file what we have uh, uh, using here. So the first thing is the output option and we have discussed this option in the past as well. So if you want to keep the target, target fold the same as from where you have started, just keep it selected. And if you want to save the amended file to a different location, you can use this option and you have to define that location that where you want to save once the bait number is added to this file. Second option is the file numbering. If you want to keep the file name after adding the bait number same as the previous one, you can keep it selected as a keep original file names. Or if you want to change the file names, you can add some kind of uh, prefix and suffix. But for me, I'm going to use this keep original file name same and I'm going to save at the location where I have started. So I'm going to press OK here and then I'm going to press OK one more time here. So you will see the same. It's a dialog box which we have talked in the past. It's all about the header and footer. So only thing is that you are seeing the inside base number. And if you want to add base number at the, at the central footer, if you want to add Bates number at the right footer, you can choose and bring the mouse cursor here. So for me, suppose I'm going to put it at the center for the text. I'm going to bring my mouse here and I've just clicked it and insert Bates number. So you will see another small dialog box where it asks how many digits uh, Bates number should be. So for me, I think for me it's four number is fine. And you can choose from what number you want to start. If you want to start from one or any other number, you can choose also. And you can add some kind of prefix and suffix. So let's say I'm going to add one uh, prefix as a Bates and hyphen here, and then one more space. And I'm going to press OK here. And you will see the previews here. So if you want to change the font type size of this uh, text, you can just play around from here. You can change the size as well. You can change the color as well. If you want to change the margin of these all margin, then you can make some changes as per preference. You can also work on the appearance option. If you want to shrink the document to avoid the base number to be on some kind of images or some kind of text, you can use the shrink option. But for me, it is it will come very nicely. Uh, as a center, center text, I'm not going to make it shrink. You can also select key position of the size of header and footer text constant when printing on different page sizes. So for me also, it is fine. I'm going to use uh, unchecked and going to press OK here. And then the, we will not talk about the insert date and uh, page number because we have talked this one in the header and footer uh, text. I will share the video if you are interested in these two parts. You can also change on what pages it should be applied, page range option. And if you want to apply on all pages, you can keep it selected. If you want to, if you don't want to apply on all pages, you can reduce the number from one to six or whatever pages. Then also you can select whether you want to apply on the odd pages or even number of pages, like even pages or odd number of pages only. So it has it gives you an option that where you want to apply the page number. So I'm going to press all pages first and then I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press OK one more time. And you will see the base number is applied on each and every page. Now, if you want to amend the base number, 
the option is that you have to delete it, you have to remove it and apply the new bits number. So you will not see a amending option here. So if you want to amend it, you can just uh, remove it and then apply it 